Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. Refill your stock by returning to Messiah, or by pickpocket. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas, Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem, William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Master! Ah. 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 
That, my students, is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. Ah. What's going on? Make someone move. What's he running from? Do not fear you. Hold your blade. Become one with it. Now, why would he be in such a rush? Stop him so bothered. What is that fool running from? Preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination target. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the other stinkers say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again. What can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot, and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. 
Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. Reason for this nonsense. Come, have a look. You won't be disappointed. I think I've seen everything now. Leave, peasant, before I make You'll you. You'll find everything here, my friend. There's nothing I do not have. God save him! He's gone mad! What is that man thinking? Did you see that? What is it that you want? I'll have your hand for that! Stop it, please!
a little money, I beg of you. Forbidden for you to be here. Altair, my friend, my brother. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No? How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I've heard a feather is lying on top of Abul Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you, but I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. For a there will be no stopping him. He will march on Leave, peasant, before I make you. Must not be
beg of you just a few coins, please. I beg of you. I beg of you. You need something? It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah ad camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Something? I'll talk to you, Shay and now. God save him, he's gone mad. Away with you. Away with you. After his first 
Getting better and better at slipping away. <laughs> what is that man thinking? You take your stuff from my side. I have everything you'll ever need. My good people, your service has come to an end. What's he doing that for? Oh dear, my family is sick and dying. Leave this place. Fires of war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy. But I say, this is an honor in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. So comes the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their wake. Saladin tried to meet him that these barbarous acts might be avenged. Pray that God, glorious and exalted is he, finds favor with us, that he may grant us victory. <laughs> Praise be Salah Hadid. He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, it is our very existence we are fighting for. The infidel king would see us all right for the world. We must resist the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, the fires of war are our very existence. We are fighting for it. The infidel king would see us all wiped from the remedy. But I must resist. We must push back. What is it? I'm so hungry. What is that man thinking? Just a little money, I beg of you. I stand before you to deliver a What is that fool doing? Should Richard take Joppa, there will be no stopping him. We will march on Jerusalem next. We must end this before it has a chance to begin. That city is ours, has always been ours. It is our duty.
Persian king and his army of infidels. They go against the will of God and must be made to pay. Everywhere they ride, they leave only what suffering in their wake. Want? They say it is a crusade. A crusade for what? Ignorance? Violence? Madness? We must resist. We must fight them in any way we can. The last of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business. As you wish. Be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Against our enemies in whatever way you can. 
I have many things, many things. I see you. Many Come things. no further. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life. I need food. Please, I'll I'm have so your hand for that. Just a little money, I beg of you. No, you don't. Ah! Leave now! No, please don't leave! Just a few coins, please! Otto Kardal Makashma! Enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. These are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledge myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see <laughs> Will anyone who tries to escape
Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Yeah! <laughs> 
has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with al -Mualab, then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere, but drawing your weapon will turn them hostile. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. 
Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended.